Hi, this is Mark Laughlin with the Ambidextral Gunfighter. Now, in many of my videos in regards to uh, pistols, I talk about, uh, you know, besides being ambidextrous, also making, once you become ambidextrous, make your left hand be your primary for presentation of your weapon. And I give a bunch of reasons for that. And uh, one reason that I talk about a little bit is the fact that okay usually often it's going to be at close range so you're going to use your typically your strong arm which will be your for most people it's going to be their right hand and you're going to use that to either punch or fight or shove a person away to create that distance to then draw and fire now one of the things that may happen in you know in the lead up to a actual gunfight is in you know fighting whether it's fist fighting knife fighting or whatever there's usually blood involved and what we look at is a lot of our pistols you know that we talk about how the uh, the texture on the grip feels and um, the fact that you know you need a good grip texture to get a hold of it well we're all doing this testing in a situation where the grips are dry so what I'm going to do today is do a little bit of testing it's kind of preliminary testing to, to do some testing to see how how the grip feels with my hands covered in blood and uh, how the the magazine releases work and how the slide releases work and how doing the you know the slingshot operation of the slide if that works well with your hands covered in blood and so um, to get the blood fortunately um, fortunately my wife bought me this really cool Essie jungleist knife and it's been such a, a pleasure it's, it was reviewed on uh, on by nut and fancy and and she saw the v review and got it for me so how cool is that huh but anyway this is a big ass knife and maybe she thinks I need to be compensating for something I don't know but anyway it's a nice it's a gorgeous knife it's so gorgeous that I've never used it uh, I mean the edge is completely brand new the finish is perfect whereas nothing fancy he was like chopping wood with it and stuff so anyway I'm gonna use that to just take a little tap on my head and you know a small head wound will create a, 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 you know quite a bit of blood so we'll and I don't feel like I got enough control of that. Let me switch to my uh, Applegate knife here, my little pocket knife. So we'll use this little foldable Rex Applegate style uh, knife. It's actually got a signature on it, which is pretty cool. And so I'll just tap on my head here a little bit and we'll uh, get, get you know, it'll bleed a lot. And I've got me some uh, towels here to catch and hold catch the blood and stuff and clean up but it hopefully you know well a uh, head wound you get a lot of blood so because I've it's not like I haven't done this lots before I've, I've bumped my head into a lot of shit and and it bleeds profuse, profusely and it doesn't take but just a tiny little uh, injury a tiny little wound and blood just flows everywhere so okay here goes um, Okay, so I'm gonna catch some of this, and uh, I got a bowl here. I'm gonna put it in a bowl so I can keep dipping my hands into it, and uh, and have plenty of blood to work with, and then we'll go from there. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna start first with the uh, start with the Walther PPQ, and so we can see you got uh, nice and bloody hands. And I'm gonna try to do slingshot operation of the slide and quite honestly I cannot even pull it pull it back I should have locked all these slides back first note for future testing all right so we got our bloodied hands we're gonna feed a magazine in and I was able to work the slide release so that's good now let's see how how well I can hold uh, Hold the pistol while shooting. All bloody. Let's do a mag change. Seemed to work fine. Okay, and let's just simulate a doing a a. Let's fire to empty here.
Okay, slides locked back, drop the mag, and it's covered with blood, so it's oozing out. Now, all right, now for the get some more blood here. Got a bowl of it. Okay. Oh, man, I need to. Now the H and K VP9. Those little dogs do. The little dog ears do work good for getting a hold of it. So I can uh, work the slide back. So we can see I got a got to manage to get around chambered. So. Magazine release worked great. Slide release, left-handed, worked great. All right. Now we have the FNS 9C. I'll lock the slide back first before I re-soak my hands in blood. Okay, let me do this left hand so you can see it better. And insert the slide. We'll try to do a. Okay, I was able to do that. I was able to slingshot it barely. It felt really slippery. Okay, push button mag functions fine. Let's simulate a slingshot. Okay, I was able to do it. That did feel actually pretty grippy on the FNS 9C. Okay, mag empty. Insert a fresh mag. I drop this mag, insert a fresh mag. Using the slide release, a little bit hard to get into that, a tiny slide release. All right, so that one's done. Now to the uh, uh, Keltec PF9. I'll lock the slide back first while my hands are sort of tacky. Wipe them off a bit. Get a little more of the blood. Okay, maybe not quite that much. All right. So this one I'm gonna have to, to work uh, right-handed. I don't have a uh, slide release on the for the left side. We'll try first slingshotting it. Not gonna happen. Not gonna sling slide this one with blood covered hands. Okay, so let's check the slide release. A little bit of a challenge here. Okay. All right, let me grab my towel. See if I can slingshot it with the towel. Okay, so that's the one thing to remember with this. If you need to slingshot this with the, probably gonna have to use your shirt. Okay, mag empty, easy to eject. Get it now I'm back to that point where I'm gonna have to slingshot it with my shirt probably. So we'll get my shirt up here. All right, slingshot it. Now it's right-handed. All right, so that, uh, God, what a mess. This is gonna be a mess to clean up. Um, anyway, so what I found in sum, going back with the Keltec PF9 with blood covered hands, I was unable to work either the slide release or slingshot it without intervention of either a towel or using my shirt to get the grip on it. So slippery, couldn't operate it. H and K VP9, that was probably the best one. With Blood Hunter covered hands, with these uh, little ears on the back of the slide there, I was able to, you know, get a hold of it and, and slingshot it. And then also the slide releases worked just fine. So I thought that one worked probably the best. 
The uh, PPQ, uh, the slide, the ambidextrous slide releases on it worked pretty good. Uh, although I was at great difficulty at, at, to operate, to do slingshot of the slide, uh, it just wasn't grippy enough. I, again, if you were having, to, you've wanted to slingshot this with blood covered hands, you're gonna have to use a towel or, or use your shirt to get a hold of it. FNS9C actually worked fairly well for slingshotting it. These uh, slide serrations on this actually did much better. I mean, it wasn't as good as the H&K VP9 with the, with the ears on it, but there was enough grip that I could actually, by gripping tightly, I could get a hold of it and, and slingshot it. Now, when it comes to using the slide release, it was, uh, I could do it, but it was definitely more challenging than if in a dry situation. You know, I hope you enjoyed this vid this video. Uh, I know it's kind of gruesome, and uh, you know, with all this blood, um, you know, it looks like a lot of blood, but it's not really that much. I mean, maybe uh, you know, like a quarter cup, but it just seems like it gets everywhere and over everything, and it's just sticky and slippery, and and it you know, it tastes really, it tastes really, really, really sweet. I don't know. It must be diabetic or something. I don't know. Anyway, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.